Hi guys, it's Rebecca from Bookworm Reflections and I had a really crappy day at work today so what's the best therapy but to reorganise my bookshelves? So these are my three bookshelves, it's very higgledy-piggledy, everything is kind of mushed in together and there are stacks of books on the floor, there are stacks of books at the top of the shelf which is just really irritating. So as we go through it I'll show you what's where and um, we'll see how it goes. So we're going to start off with a bookshelf on the left which is my to be read bookshelf and the first thing I wanted to do was to organise it um, by the age category. So what I'm doing just now is removing all of my YA books so that I can put my adult books on the bottom which are the ones that I'm not as likely to pick up very often because I do prefer to read YA but I'm obviously interested in adult as well. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm also realising that I don't have as much space as I thought I would so I'm having to stack my books um, sideways as you can see here. You'll also see me pausing because I'm trying to work out what the alphabet is and then as I'm stacking my books, my YA books vertically, it took me a while to remember what was vertical and what was horizontal, but as I'm stacking them vertically I realise that I've run out of space so I'm going back and I'm moving some of them into a horizontal direction. God, what are words? I just can't cope today at all. Um, and then just trying to put books wherever I can. I do realise at the end that I have a couple of books left over that don't fit anywhere and it's really annoying but I've just had to stash them wherever I could. Onto my main bookshelves now and these are just an order of the author's surname. So again I am removing all of my YA books and I am putting my adult books at the bottom. You can see that I'm reading through my Julia Quinn Bridgerton series to see which order they're in because there are so many. This also happens a bit later on. So um, another thing you might notice is that I am not putting them in order of surname particularly. I mean I am but I'm not. I'm a mess deal with it. So um, I'm actually, what I'm doing is I'm doing it by order of size as well. So if there's some books that are a bit a bit bigger or a bit smaller, depending on the size of book, obviously, um, I am popping those on either end. So it's kind of like a slopey, zigzaggy, cool thing. Yeah. And then finally, I'm just finishing off with my Ilona Andrews Kate Daniel series, as well as the Steel of Magic. Um, no, it's called the Edge series. Steel magic. God, what's wrong with me? So I'm just popping those in because I love them. Now we're on to my YA section. So I've got my beloved children's stories in the top left, which is a lovely rainbow. And then I'm doing exactly the same thing. So I'm organising them by author's surname and also doing a little zigzag of tallest books at the end down to smallest. And I'm just inverting it depending on the bookshelf. A little fun fact for this one is you might have spotted my Twilight series. Um, I had a purge of books when I was about 20 where I just got rid of all my paranormal ones and all of my magical ones and I regretted it so badly that I just bought them again recently. Um, as you can see again I have forgotten how much space I've got so I am starting from the end of the alphabet and working my way backwards and then I realised I have too much space so it's a little bit of jiggling things around, trying to get the order right and trying to sort out the Divergent series because every book seems to be a different height, which is awesome. Now I am organising my... Oh god, it's moving too quickly. Oh no, and we're on to the bookshelf tour. Okay, so this is what I was saying. This is my YA section. Um, Looks pretty beautiful. You can see the Chronicles of Narnia there as well as my turtle that we got from Malta. And... There are the Twilight books I had to rebuy, and the incredibly difficult and out of order Divergent series. And then on the right hand side, you can see that I've got my Scottish books and my non fiction books. That's just to fill the gap. I'm hoping that as I read books from my other TBR, it'll be fine. Um, top shelf of my second bookshelf are my library books and my most recently bought TBRs. And then we've got my adult books. Looking beautiful here. I quite like having them separated, but I'm not sure if I'm sold on the actual layout at the moment. And then we've got my plays, my collections of poetry, short stories, um, that kind of thing, and my graphic novels, and then a last bit of my TBRs. 
if you've managed to stick with me so far, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know for me that reorganising my bookshelves is really relaxing and if I've, if I've had a particularly bad day, I do tend to go a bit riot with mine and reorganise them every now and again. So there'll probably be another video in the not too distant future, I would think. Um, overall, I'm happy with the layout at the moment, but I don't think I'll stick with it forever. But I am hoping, as I said in the voiceover, I'm hoping that as I read and unhaul some of the books in my TBR bookshelf, that will give up space so that I'll have a bookshelf dedicated to adult and then two bookshelves for YA because I do predominantly read those. But if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below. Give it a like, subscribe, all that awesome stuff. Let me know how you organise your bookshelves as well because I'm really interested. A lot of people do it by colour or genre or something like that. So let me know how you organise yours and I'll see you in the next one.